Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Into the Breach, which, after years, got a huge free new update to the game called the Advanced Edition Update, which I am very excited to check out here today. It has new squads, enemies, missions, pilots, weapons, equipment, music, just all the whole nine yards. Uh, if you don't know Into the Breach, it's the very slightly lesser known game from the FTL devs. Uh, I do have a new pilot and a new squad here so that we could check things out. If you guys want more, we'll probably do like a, a fresh file thing and work from there. But for the case of uh, showcasing new content that's actually in this update, I thought that, that would be a feasible thing. So we've got uh, on reset turn, gain shield plus two move. You know, we're just going to have to get in there and, uh, and refigure things out. Because, oh my god, has it been a long time. I did not think that there was going to be a new update to this game, let alone after this long of a time. Uh, so, alas, let me just adjust some volume here. Okay. So here we go. Roguelike, turn-based tactics game. Absolutely wonderful one of them. In we're going to go here. Hello. If you're from the future, you'll find our island is even further back in time than you expected. If not for the VEC, I'd have loved to give you a tour of the old Earth relics. <laughs> Combat simulator? Honestly, it's been so long that that actually sounds kind of nice. Uh, yeah, sure. It's been so freaking long. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. Power grid. This is the power grid. Whenever a building is damaged, the power grid is going to be reduced. This is what delivers power to your mechs. If it is reduced to zero, you lose. Every enemy attack is forewarned. Next turn, the, this one will attack the buildings. Hover over the enemy to see its details about its attack. This is your combat mech. It can punch any adjacent tile. Select your mech now by clicking it and move your mech here. Click on a weapon to use it. The number keys will also work as a shortcut. You may not move after you shot a weapon. Punch this enemy. Boop. So your mech punch... Your mech's punch, push this unit. It'll now attack the new location. It's going to attack this mountain instead of the precious building. Pushes can save buildings from enemy attacks or even make enemies attack each other. So you can do push, you can do damage, or you can do push and damage. Uh, may seem very simplistic. Let me tell you, this is a game that is, like, it, it seems really straightforward and hyper clean and straightforward on the surface. Uh, but the interactions are miles deep. How everything shakes out and combines together is where this game gets wild and absolutely deep if you have not seen it in the past. Uh, when all your mechs have used their action, there's nothing left to do on the turn, and you can end your turn. Great. Fantastic. We're done for. This is your cannon mech. It shoots a projectile that travels in a straight line until it hits another unit. So, theoretically, we can go womp, womp. When aiming a weapon, the orange tile show where you can shoot. I'm gonna blast that fool. Get out of here. Then we can theoretically, you should be one punch from dead. But all the different mechs are gonna have different types of weapons. There'll be different pilots that have different types of passives to them that shake things up. Uh, in addition to getting like upgraded moves later. All right. Artillery mech. Artillery weapons can shoot over obstacles like mountains, but cannot shoot adjacent tiles. It will only damage units in the center, and then it will push everybody else away. So, what is the radius like? Okay, we can do this. Whoop. Units fell in the water, so they will drown, killing them instantly. That is a very huge mechanic in this game, is using the environment uh, to your advantage. Why, why would I... What, do you want me to shoot the freaking building, punk? Okay, where are you going? Oh, interesting. Okay, all right. Uh, every mission you will win by surviving until the VEC retreats, which is going to be in four turns. If you complete the bonus objective, you get additional resources after that. I'll kill all enemies before they retreat. Uh, okay, so... You're trying to hit there. Got two. We could go, theoretically, do a little bit of that. Saves that over there. 
You're going to be trying to hit here. Um, oh, this one's a little bit tricky, actually. I don't know. I don't know how to save this one off the top of my head here. Unless, how much damage does this do? One damage and then one damage if it pushes the target into something. So, I guess what we theoretically could just do is run up here. Do a little punch. Go down here. Do a little shoot, which should push. You're going to do a little bit of damage to each other. Man, I love that the tutorial actually has some decisions. I mean, I, I beefed that there. Uh, but you're, you know what? I did it on purpose so we could see the tutorial, obviously. Your mechs will automatically repair damage after each battle. If a mech is reduces your health, the pilot dies and the mech is disabled for the rest of the battle. Get a little murder on each other there. Hmm. So this has to be in a straight line, but we could do like... If you, it doesn't matter if you push a building, right? Like, that shouldn't... Yeah, it shouldn't matter. Good. This does how much damage? It does two. This should be nice and clean and easy. Yeah, we're good. Theoretically. Theoretically, we are all good there. Three cheers for the Cataclysm! Thank you. I mean, we're not... The Cataclysm, really? There's a combat system in and decline. Decline. Damage power grid. Uh, the power grid connects every corporate island. Any damage it takes in missions will persist. The VEC caused damage before you arrived, but there will be opportunities that can restore it. Okay. Your mission. Every mission has different potential rewards for completing bonus objectives. You won't be able to do every mission on the island, so choose carefully. Reactor cores to upgrade your mech. Grid power to restore power to your grid if you... Have, you know, have a little bit less. Uh, corp reputation used to purchase items once the island is secure. Great. Okay, so now we have our uh, our new squad here. Let's see, what do we have? Throw an adjacent unit and damage it. So what is your ability on reset turn? On reset turn. Gain a shield and plus two movement. Interesting. Throw an adjacent target and then damage it. Does it always move exactly, exactly there? Or can we choose, I wonder. Try rocket, damage and push three tiles in a line. What the hell? <laughs> okay. They all move from back to front so they don't do like collision damage with each other, I guess. Maybe in the event that there is something behind the third spot, maybe, maybe that would be the case. You can upgrade it to make it building immune. You can up so it won't harm buildings. More damage. What do you have here? Seismic capacitor. Damage and flip a target. If target is killed, crack the adjacent tiles. Okay. Very interesting. Our technicians recently got an old earth artillery battery up and running. Please make sure it survives the fight. Defend the artillery support. Protect the coal plant. In we freaking go. Okay, so this is Mr. Throw Your Girl. Uh, then we got the triple line artillery. And then this is like a... Yeah, what's the radius on this again? Science class weapon. Damage and flip a target. If the target is killed, crack the adjacent tiles. I don't actually remember what cracked tiles do. Maybe they... I don't know. I don't know what a cracked tile does. We'll, we'll have to see. The triple tile will do self-damage, so i got to be a little bit careful trying to save that. All right. Here we go. It's the Cataclysm. They've come. Shall crush every last vec. Merging enemies. An enemy unit will merge here next turn. You can temporarily block enemies by sp from spawning, but it will damage the unit. So if we stand on top of this, then uh, then we will stop it. Man, I wish we could, um... 
so hold on. I wanna I wanna see. What does this look like? We throw you right there. Oh, that's so un oh, unfortunate. Wait, we can go back though, can't we? Because it said undo move. Great. Like I could throw you again, it's what? One damage? One damage. You could do that, I suppose. But like I kinda wanted to throw somebody right in here, like do throw them there, do triple damage, you know what I'm saying? God, that'd be so good, but I would have to throw this guy, and I can't do that right now. This is only one damage. This is one damage. Yeah, not looking, not looking great there if we do it normal style. So let's just scoot here. Wait. It looks like we are allowed to hit in front of us. So we can do it like this. Bang, bang, bang. I'm willing to give it a go. Punch you the hell out of here. Uh, I mean, it's not, a, it's not a kill. We could kill this. Am I worried about that that much? I wonder if we do get to choose where we throw it. Double action weapon. It requires two target locations before it can fire. Oh, okay. We actually do get to choose. That is really solid. That being said, I feel like I, an actual just kill is a better call right now. Burning forest. This forest tile just took damage, turning it on fire. Uh, you understand on there to ignite and take damage every turn. So, yeah, probably don't do that. Wait, did that, did that, like, stun you? Oh, it fl it, wait, it flips the target. Which I guess will be, like, a stun here. We should be good. Nothing is taking damage. Oh, I can, I can control you? Wonderful. Huge. I didn't realize I was gonna- I got control of the NPC thing, too. I guess it is not an NPC. Oh, shoot. They've done some grabbing. Vex Scion. Enemy Scion provides a passive bonus to all of the Vex. Killing it removes the bonus. Hold left control to investigate its ability. All other Vec receive one HP as long as it's living. You know, I would love... God, I wish Webbed Mech cannot move, but they can still attack. I It will not... It is not going to let me uh, do that. Which is honestly respectable. If I do damage and flip you, you will probably... Ah, flips there. Gotcha. Wonderful. Unhand me. If we throw you, we can throw you into the forest, which will put it on fire. I could stand on this, take the damage, and deal with it. It looked like I could just throw my ally as well, which is kind of funny. I feel like flying means that it won't take actual damage from that. I could be wrong. Uh, so we get two, what, what is it? Two freaking, a shield and two extra movement when we reset. But we only get to do that once per, uh, per fight. Okay. Release me at once, or you shall face the dire consequences. Yeah, I mean, this is pretty garbage for us. Okay, so that does work how we think. Uh... I like the idea of a flip on this. 
Oh, interesting. So we can't throw them on top of somebody else. I thought that maybe we could, like, throw it on them and, like, deal damage to them and push the other enemy back. I mean, like, obviously that saves me just fine. Okay. You have been released. Theoretically, if you can move here... We got a double. Uh, so, what's our goal? Defend the artillery support is the bonus goal here. Honestly, that's not too difficult at all. It's, uh, pretty busted itself, to be real. One more vac coming from there. Threatened. Man, I wish I could throw you into the ocean, man. I need that plus two range up that we can get on this. Let me just see. Can we... Okay, we can do that. Can you make it up? You have four movement, don't you? One, two, three... So theoretically, we could go up and throw him. <laughs> it's a it's a lot. But then we could move you here, flip you. I don't know. That's kind of spicy. What did I just do? Okay. I'll tell you what. Worst comes to worst. We will uh, get in the ocean. Go over here. Flip that. So they attack each other. Well, I mean, kind of. Yeah. What am I going to do? Shoot my guy? No. That was a pretty clean move. That was a pretty clean move, man. Boom, 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 boom. Leave the artillery battery man and ready in case the vac decide to return. Okay. Good deal. Warning tidal waves. Take less than three grid damage. Air support, destroy the dam, kill these two enemies. I mean, I do kind of want to restore a little bit. What is this? Use reputation points to purchase supplies once the island has been secured. Uh, we certainly could. I like the idea of unlocking another path over there that has heals, should we desire them. Take less than three grid damage, protect the power generator. Environment effect. This mission has a very special effect. It will happen every turn. Select a tile to get more information. Uh, it will become water at the start of the enemy turn. Okay, fair enough. So what you're telling me is throw lots of fools into the ocean. It's a little... I don't know. It's a little awkward. We'll see what they do. Pod incoming. Behold, a time pod. Be sure to follow safety protocols before opening that pod. This contains equipment from the future. You can collect it with your mech and, or just defend it until the end of battle. Great. All right, well, you just made it easy for me. How much movement do you normally have? Three. One, two, three. Eh, I don't know if we're going to be able to actually get to this guy and stop him. That's just pretty unfortunate, uh, is what that is. Because this guy's in the way. Otherwise, if this guy wasn't here, it'd be a different story. So we could, even though it won't be a kill, we could go up here, throw this guy... Move here, flip this guy. To protect... It's, I know that that's not going to kill because he's a flying unit. It's just, it's not going to do... Do nothing there. So go here, we flip you so you will unhand my... 
I kind of, yeah. Well, sh well, shoot. Well, 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 well. We needed to go right here. He's still in the way. It might be worth, um... It might be worth resetting over then. You get movement? He gets to move. That actually might... The bonus two movement that we get might... Oh my god, it totally makes a difference. It's a shield that will block uh, block damage and any negative effects. Only direct damage will remove the shield. Non-damaging negative effects will have no effect. Okay, well that was... That's big. Like, I would like to throw him on here so he blocks that, but, you know. What are you gonna do? We could block it. I mean, this is pretty solid. Because it'll stop that and kill this guy at the same time. It's a twofer. Saving this guy, too. It's just kind of like a Real solid call. You can make it there? So what does a cracked tile do? What the hell does a cracked tile do? Because that is now... It's now become relevant. Because I could throw you... Throw you here. I don't know if this... Sh this probably shows up after, though. So I think we just take it. I think we just... We throw you at it. I think we don't get greedy with it. All right. Solid enough. We should be fine. A okay. Protect the power generator. Where's the power generator? Is that this? Better not go under the water. I can't protect it. Huge. I mean, this is actually great. This move is incredible. I'm stupid. We are. S it is an incredible move, but we shouldn't have. Uh, we shouldn't have been on that tile still because this is high tide. I was looking over here. I was like, "Oh, okay. So this section is is just going to be fine. They don't. There's nothing risky about it. No dice." Good there. You're attacking there, you're attacking there. We could, um, victory in two turns. We could just take this. Take that hit, you know? To stop somebody from spawning. Or I could go up here and... Where are you attacking? You're attacking up there. Attack the wall. So that just straight up cancels the attack. Because if something spawns here, it's probably gonna be okay. I want something to murder. What can I say? Mechs cannot use their weapons while standing in water. Oh, he's not dead. Oh, we're great, we're fine. Okay. I can't throw you into the ocean, but I can, I can get you killed. Uh. Boink. Okay, so what is a crack tile? Turn into holes if damaged. Okay. So if anything hits this, it turns into a hole. Oh. oh. Okay. Um. I don't know if that interacts with the buildings or not. Concerning if so, but we're good.
Perfect. Protect the time pod. Open the door. On the floor, pod's content. A light tank. It's an ability. Deploy a small tank to help in combat. And a reactor core used to upgrade your mechs between missions. Good deal. As you secure regions and complete bonus objectives, your reputation increases. You can spend that on supplies at the end of the island. Uh, you have a reactor core. Open up the mech upgrade and install it. Uh, this is not tricky. I don't know if I want to put it on this one, though. Who are we most likely to have a free turn on? Who are we most likely to have a free turn on? Also, do does this take uh, two energy to use? Yeah, it's not. It's not even powered. It's irrelevant. Uh, build makes this build immune. Makes it do two damage. The range up on that has routinely seemed um, quite useful. So let's go for that, and then strike this here, even though it's not not powered. Okay, so we are not missing any HP or anything, so let's um, destroy the dam, get kill seven enemies. Let's go for that. Destroy the dam, kill seven enemies. Units, okay. Doesn't say quite what it'll do. Okay. Mom, look! It's the Cataclysm! We love the Cataclysm! Throw it into the dam! So we could go... I'm not gonna do it quite yet, but could we... <laughs> I, lo I love that move. God, that's such a fun move. We could also just throw this guy in now, too. Couldn't we? We could. In fact, that's probably a little bit better at this point. Hmm. I want to start breaking the dam. I don't want to go here, flip them, and take two damage just to stop that. Like, it's okay if our units take damage. This game is kind of about your uh, trading your units to make sure that the buildings stay okay. You don't want them to die, but, like, taking a damage to not have to deal with that unit is, is really handy. Oh, my word. Break the dam. Like, killing this guy's cool, but I'd have to, like, go all the way back there. And we actually, we want... I, sh I guess I could have figured as much. Uh, this is a flying unit, though, which is actually quite nice. We kind of want some units to spawn. We don't... Oh, boy. Don't grab me. Ay, ay, ay. Should have known. Your luck's run out. So yeah, you can you can attack even though you were a flying guy. Can throw you, but what good is it really? Kill. Okay, so if we kill every enemy that's currently on the field, we are we're good. This part of me wants to just like stand here, get ready for him, and throw him. Oh no.
We can actually we actually have to take this hit. Because he has a projectile. Doesn't he? No, it's not a projectile. It's just a two first. So it would hit, right? It doesn't? You don't have a projectile since when? Since when do you not have a projectile? I just... Okay, we didn't need to do that, but we didn't need to be a hero. Is it worth resetting my entire turnover? I mean, I guess so. Like, it's not urgent that we have everything exactly how we have it. Like, and we can just get back to where we were pretty darn quick. Okay, that's good. What did I do with you? Did I just... Did I just put you here? To try and set up... I think I did. To try and set up for a, uh, a throw. Very good. That's a free kill. Oh, screw you. Oh my god, they're so fast! Okay, well this is annoying. I couldn't tell, like, I can get the kills, but I couldn't tell you how, with the exact scenario that's going on right now, how I could possibly stop this now. Like, even if I hit this guy with this guy, then he's getting knocked into the building. And I can't... We could do a throw into... Throw into the ocean... How much movement do you have? Four, one, two, three, four. Hit and flip. You move here and attack that guy for the kill. We can at least get all of the other... We can get all the other objectives done. Like, that's the best I can do. I mean, we'll take the two damage, but we at least got the uh, the seven enemies. That was just a really bad turn. That was really, really unfortunate. Double grip. We uh, resisted. I forgot that was a thing. Uh, chance of uh, building resisting is shown to the right of your power grid. I forgot that was a thing. Dispatching rescue queues to see if any civilians can be helped. My bad. Yep. Your primary goal is to prevent this. I feel like I've done a fine job. We're 33 minutes in. That was the first damage I took. That's... They put, the tutorial just showed up for that. I think that that I did okay. Uh, promoted. Plus two mech HP. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Do we... I don't know if we have to clear the entire island. I can't remember. Let's do this one. We can get the healing after if we need it, truly. Uh, defend the tanks. Undamaged. They need to be undamaged. Okay. We'll see. If I can control them, then we're probably alright. Seems like the tanks may be automatic. Because they're not over here. We could hit this guy. Hit this guy, move or move over there, hit that guy. Like this. A little goofy. 
Okay, good. That's... I wanted to know. I wanted to know. Shouldn't really matter. Just make you damage that forest. There's a chance that, uh... Chance that'll go well for us. Who knows? Maybe somebody will waste the turn and stand on it. Stay there. God, this is such a good game. Oh, I'm so glad I got an update. God, I love it. It's been so long since I played. Okay. Do the tanks not... Ah, they're, they're not powered. Gotcha. This is a little extreme. Attack and flip. There's a lot of annoyance here. I can't attack flip that guy. I can, I can push back this guy. Save the tank. It's been shattered. Now chasm. Oh, we could throw somebody onto that tile. But I can't, like... Just, this is for science. Oh, we can throw somebody. Ooh. I kind of want to reset turns so we get the extra two movements so we can do that. Just for... <laughs> just for fun. I want to... You know what? I'm doing it just because I want to see if it interacts in that way. That sounds really nice. It sounds fun. So we get the extra two movements. Please, please work this way. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Uh, I don't really want to take double damage, so I will just allow that to kind of fly there for a sec. Protect the stinking tank. Who is that? Well, who we've now kind of blocked in there entirely, but... You know, it was for the cool. I wanted to see it for the cool. I'm just happy they're not grabbing me. Okay, so now we have control over them. They just can knock back. They can push one. I mean, that's still useful. Whoop. Okay, so I kind of like the idea of that into... Oh, you don't have the movement for this! Oh, it's still good, actually, because he's still going to attack that guy. He doesn't have the movement for it, though. I'll do that. Should start the forest on fire. Get him killed. You're gonna attack in that way there. You just, you just vibe, man. Just freaking vibe. What, what do you want? Oh god! <laughs> if you hit somebody into something, you do get to do a damage. So we could have set something up like that. But I thought that we had one more movement on this tile. We would have gotten a double trouble. Yeah, here. 
uh, what? What do you what do you want from me? And and yes. Enemy turn. What enemies? What enemies? I thought I remembered that like some. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say I thought I remembered some of these just disappeared. Uh, here we go. Let's go on in. Let's do it. Uh, destroy the Firefly leader. Great. I mean, I'll try and just, like, throw you into the ocean. It's just, it's such a fun move. It's such a simple move conceptually, but I love it. Uh, can walk on water. Oh, I can't throw you into the... I mean, I can throw you into the ocean. It's just not that exciting. Huge. Good, nice, and safe. Don't really want to... I don't really want to hit anybody else at this point. It's kind of just more like I want to set myself up for later. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to attack. I, all I can do is... I could just mess things up by attacking at this point. Huge! Oh, what a turn, what a turn, what a turn, what a mighty good turn. Hmm. We could... Throw you just one tile over, probably be nice and safe. We also throw them over here into the forest, which would start it on fire. We throw them into the forest so hard they start on fire. It's actually not bad. It's not bad at all. I like that. And we flip that. I don't want to flip them because I, I fear what happens when we do that. do that start that on fire and then i guess again we just sort of like hang out with you you just kind of vibe you know what we can start some forests on fire part of me wants to step here and take this one damage start a couple forests on fire have a have a laugh let's take this one damage block one one fool I, obviously, I don't like them being down to one HP. Like, it's not great, but like, I think it's fine. Okay, this is now. This has now become a bit goofy. It's telling me. By the way, you can push things into objects to do the extra. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm aware. Thank you. Alright, we're good. Boss is dead. Protecting the corporate tower should not be too difficult. We. Unintentionally got like an amazing lineup right there. Threaten me? I dare you. That's the projectile shooter. 
mean, we don't really need to do much of anything here. Theoretically, this is a kill. Oh, that's so fun. Oh, that's so fun. I love the break tiles. Oh, I love them. I love them so much. That one guy just... I'm out. <laughs> I'm gone. Never mind. Never mind. Beautiful. Mech move up. Plus one mech reactor. Whoops. I had it. Whatever. Spend reputation. Sure. Medical supplies. Passive effect. All pilots survive death. Bonus reactor core. Fire beam. Applies fire in a line. <laughs> these are already our. These are our equipped ones. Okay, these are what we could buy. I was gonna say, could we just buy another one? This doesn't look like it requires anything. Am I wrong? Cost an additional power to use. Well, you should have said that. But you got a power, so that's actually just fine there. I, you know, holy moly. You son of a gun, I'm back in. Get, I feel like two to power up to get a small tank to deploy feels feels a little much. Honestly, like a little bit of health could go a long way. This I don't care as much. Seismic capacitor. So this does not cost anything. Oh, it costs something because it's a science class weapon. Gotcha. Was well, this a specific class? Any class weapon? Oh, it's just an any class weapon that needs power. Okay. Gotcha. So this is free if you use it. We got the seismic capacitor. That would do two damage now. Potentially get the extra kill. We got the extra reactor core. And I honestly don't even really know where to use it. I think maybe a movement on you. Uh, but alas, alas, that's that island done. But by completing one island, you've unlocked the RSC Corporation. Future games, you'll be able to visit any unlocked uh, islands in future order. I'm, I'm aware. Uh, but alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Uh, if you want more Into the Breach, let me know. Like I said, like maybe I would go in uh, finish up this one file. That That's always been my exclusive only issue with Into the Breach is that runs are very long. Um... Uh, but I love this game so much, and that's not even really an issue for a lot of people. It's just like a YouTube content create issue uh, where, you know, runs would have to be divided up into multiple episodes, which is sometimes a bummer. Uh, but if you guys want more, let me know. We could finish up this run, play out the Cataclysm. We could start a fresh file for the advanced uh, version, anything like that. Depends on how this video does, of course. If you want more of it, then you're going to have to let me know in the form of a like and a comment down below, of course, of course. If you want to, uh, you know, never miss any great new roguelike games, especially turn-based tactics roguelikes, I, I love the genre, this is a channel you should probably be subscribed to. I upload a new video every single day on a new roguelike or newly updated old roguelike like this. Uh, so if you never want to miss great updates to, like, the big, the big games, like, if you hadn't heard of this, you know, until you saw this video or something like that... Uh, you should probably be subscribed to this channel if, if this is shocking and wonderful news to you that this is out and you didn't hear it anywhere else. Uh, I will make sure I cover the big, huge updates to old stuff. Cover great new roguelikes every single day. Thank you for watching, though. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!